Today, I want to talk to you about Isilon customers. I want to give you a background of why they're Isilon customers, what they were looking for, and why they were so compelled to switch from their current vendors uh, over to Isilon. So it's all the obvious things are out there today. You know storage is growing, it's always growing. Uh, but more important, in this economy around the world, there is a more and more reason to look closely at all decisions relative to purchases in the enterprise data center. So uh, that being the environment that we're working in, it's uh, everybody is out there looking at the obvious places to save money. And when you acquire storage, it's a significant part of the data center spend. And so we're always out there looking for ways to uh, to cut back on both the capital that we're spending and more importantly the operational expenses as we go forward. So there's a couple of different things we can do when we want to reduce costs. One, we want to buy the lowest price technology or we want to drive those vendors down in their prices. Uh, or we want to look at the overall operating costs which include primarily people and the environment, the power and cooling types of things. So those are the areas when we go look at the budget and we're trying to decide what we're going to buy or how we're going to meet the needs of the next program. Uh, we go looking at those couple areas. So there's a couple of things that they, uh, when we look at the requirements that would come down to very simple high level requirements. One of them is simplification or reducing the effort of managing our storage environment. So that's number one, simplify what we're doing. Number two is really looking at the scalability of the solution. We need to find a different way to scale uh, what we're doing. So we can maybe buy in smaller chunks, uh, which will look better at the CFO level, uh, which will make managing our expenses a little bit more accurate as opposed to buying big chunks, we can buy smaller chunks for instance. So getting something that's a lot more scalable and therefore also more flexible inside of our business environment. And then the final area out of the three that I like to talk about is just the overall efficiencies of the system. Can we get a system that's much more efficient? So instead of buying 100 terabytes to get 50 terabytes of usable, can I get 100 terabytes and, and get 85% uh, efficiency out of it? And then along with that comes some predictability so that I know that if I need to add another program, they need 100 terabytes, I know exactly what I need to buy. I don't have to do a lot of work thinking about it. So simplification of the environment, scalability of the solution, efficiency in what, what we buy. Uh, those are some of the three, uh, those are big three areas that, that our customers look at, our prospects look at. So when you look at that, the question is, what do they see in Isilon then? How do we even demonstrate to everybody what it is we do? And it's obvious uh, when you start down the path of working with Isilon that these areas are significantly improved over the traditional architectures. So let's look a little bit. Simplification of the solution, just making it more, uh, making it easier to manage, reducing the effort, and therefore reducing the number of people or hours that need to be spent on the storage. We do a very simple demonstration of this today. We've been doing it since day one because it's one of those things that everybody understands, and that is how do you expand the system? How do you expand storage over time? Because there's a lot of planning in traditional storage. There's a lot of work going into making it happen, and then you gotta buy a big chunk. With Isilon, we always demonstrate how do you add one node, we call them nodes in our clustered environment, with 12 drives, 24 drives, or 36 drives. What does it look like? And that demonstration we've been doing forever because it's a one minute uh, exercise to add that much storage to the system. So when you see that, you go, whoa, if that's true, what else can this product do? So we start with that and we go from there. We can continue to show you simple uh, ways of managing the system, simple ways of, of exporting the system and deploying the storage out uh, through the environment. So you'll be able to set up terabytes in an afternoon and get them in operation within minutes. So that's number one. Flexibility and scalability are, is the other area that we talk about a lot. Scale out NAS, which is the category that Isilon is in with our clustered storage architecture, has obvious advantages once you take a look at what does uh, a cluster give you. So scalability is a big thing. How do I keep adding storage to the system when I don't know what I'm going to need tomorrow? Well, in a, in a cluster environment, it's simple. You add another node into the environment, another node, and if it's as simple to add as what I just described, then scalability is no problem. It's very predictable. It's very easy to understand. What you need to also understand is that with that scalability comes cash. Uh, cash is king in the area of storage, so we get more performance. We get more networking, we get more CPU, we get more storage, and we get more reliability with every node that we add to the system. These clustered environments, and particularly the Isilon clustered storage environment, is 100% scalable in all directions. You get more files, you get more protection, you get more scalability in everything you do. 
So flexible solution for you as an IT architect, the, the storage architect, storage admin, you can say yes more than you say no. When somebody comes and says, how do I do this? Can I do this? How long is it going to take? You can say, it will t you can do it yes, and it will take 50 seconds. Efficiency is another one. Efficiency is a way that we actually recover storage out of that mass of iron that we bought. How efficient is it? How efficient is it to run? How much work does it take? Uh, efficiency has got a lot of aspects. It's another whole discussion, but it has to do with converting that raw storage into usable storage and then managing that raw storage, managing that usable storage. How much time does it take? M many people don't understand this, or if you've been running systems for a while, you do. The efficiency of storage systems is not very good. It's low. It's in the 50 to 60 percent at best. Uh, and even then, we put restrictions on how many files we put in a file system, how many file systems we have to manage. Every one of those things adds complexity because you have to think about it. So Iceland brings you a different way of doing that, and I'll talk about that in a second. So demonstrating simplicity we talked about. We can do it by adding nodes, adding storage. It's very easy. There's other aspects of this. One, if you look at just the UI of our system, you'll find that it's very simple. There's no tuning parameters. There's no uh, blocks or LUNs or anything to deal with. It's simply a big USB stick. You plug it in. You'll look at it and say, I want to make a directory. I want to export that directory. It's simple. And when you see that, it's like, OK, does it really work? So then we go to the scalability. And that's where you start seeing it work. In fact, it does give you the performance. It will meet the performance needs of 80% of the applications you could ever think of, if not more inside your enterprise. So it's very efficient in delivering the performance and the scalability. That comes even at the simplicity of managing the system. And then the final thing is the overall efficiency. Uh, we will demonstrate that over and over again. Just the number of files you can do, the size of the system you can do, uh, the number of hours that you do not have to spend. We have customers you can call, lots of them, that will tell you that we manage petabytes with less than one person, less than half a person. It's easy. We don't have to convince you. You can go straight to customers who are using the system. They'll tell you what you need to know. Uh, don't trust the vendor. Go trust the customers. They'll tell you. So. Let me wrap up a little bit here and just talk about uh, the scale-out NAS market. Scale-out NAS is a class of products. It's not an architecture. It's describing a different way of doing things. Traditional NAS or file servers were scale up, meaning you got faster by adding bigger CPUs in the system. But that has its limitations. So scale-out gives you this clustered architecture, the ability to add and add and add uh, until you get what you need. There's implementations that are true implementations of symmetric clustered storage like Isilon, where every node is identical. You add that node, and if one node goes down, the rest of the system keeps running. It's highly available, highly um, uh, it fixes itself, all those sort of things that come with a true scalable clustered storage architecture. So look closely. When you hear scale out NAS, don't assume that it's the same thing. Look under the covers, find out what it does and how it works. Compare the areas of simplicity, scalability, and efficiency in delivering uh, the product. Beyond that, uh, Iceland uh, can also get you in touch with customers that are just like you. We have over 1,000 customers worldwide in the areas of uh, Web 2.0. Uh, some of the biggest Web 2.0 customers out there run Iceland systems. You'd be surprised who it is. Uh, life sciences, genetic sequencing, uh, biotechnologies, and, and chemistry, all big areas where lots of data exists, and it's production data. These systems run 24 by 7. They have to work, and they have to work well. These guys are not in the business of being storage, but they need it, and we have references across the globe there uh, as one of the, the leading vendors in storage in those marketplaces. And I can go on and on. Media and entertainment, you can imagine streaming video, uh, large post-production shops around the world. And finally, the virtual data centers, places where data is growing very quickly and is core to the enterprise. In each of those areas, we'll get you in touch with customers. We'll tell you why did they come here. And it'll be those areas of simplicity, scalability, and efficiency of the storage. So things have changed. The world's changing. Uh, traditional NAS is out there, but the scale-out NAS world is, is expanding quickly. If you don't understand and haven't seen it yet, you need to get contact with your Isilon rep. Uh, we'll run you through the, the paces of what it looks like, how it works, get you a demo of the system. Uh, and if you're ready to go, we'll put in an email. We'll show you how it works in your own environment. Got any questions, make sure you contact us. Uh, and uh, look for changes in the future as we continue to move forward in the new world of NAS.